Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you by combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and the challenges that are coming your way this month. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is Justice. It represents balance and good judgment. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Eight of Swords. It represents a sense of fear and bondage. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Chariot. It represents movement and victory. And the tarot card for the final week of the month is the Two of Pentacles. It represents choices and outcomes. Taurus, the tarot card for the first week of the month is Justice. Justice is the card of ultimate balance. The sword in her hand has the potential of cutting both ways. The scales are held in perfect balance, suggesting a positive flow between the past and the future. As we stand on this precipice, we can see there are needed changes that should be made, but we can also see that some would take advantage and turn the system to their own advantage. May true justice be done. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month opens with a beautiful Venus-Jupiter conjunction up in your 12th house. Now, this is a great time for self-reflection and spiritual growth. You have help from behind the scenes, and you should listen to your dreams. There's good luck in working quietly with others, and you may feel you have a guardian angel helping you. Now, Mercury will conjunct Saturn, so you must maintain a sense of seriousness in business and negotiations. You must make sure you have a real purpose. But the most important event is when Saturn enters into Pisces for the first time in 28 years, beginning a new cycle of growth. You must learn how to make connections on a deep and powerful level. So network with important people to attain your goals. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Eight of Swords. A woman is blindfolded and encircled by swords, representing danger, confusion, and a sense of powerlessness. However, there are gaps in the placement of the swords. She needs to be aware that there is danger, but by maintaining clarity, she may find a way out of her dilemma. Now, as we look into the astrology, week two opens with a very gentle energy as Venus sextiles Mars and Mercury sextiles Uranus. And this suggests that you take some quiet time to visit with intimate friends. Now the Sun and Mercury conjunct Neptune up in your 11th house and this is a really wonderful inspired placement. However, there is a square to Mars to elusive Neptune from the second house of money and resources creating a bit of an atmosphere of uncertainty. So this may disrupt your ability to follow your budget and force you to slow down important decisions concerning income and investments. And uh, check all the details before you loan anybody any money. <laughs> the week ends as Venus in the 12th house will square to Pluto in the ninth house of higher mind. This warns you that you need to know what you value and what you need to learn so that you can express your ambition. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the chariot. This is a card that suggests leaving the past and moving ahead to the future. 
The energy presence this week suggests there may be a lot of forward motion. You may be able to see a glimpse into the future potential, and your ability to command ideas may grow. So look forward to success. Now, the week opens with an exact Sun-Mercury conjunction up in your 11th house. So you need to take time to explore your connections to others. The exact nature of this aspect is called combust and tends to focus people on their own interests. So that can cause some irritation. You need to clarify your mind and your hopes for the future. A few sextiles will help modify this energy, but Mars will square the Sun and Mercury from your second house of resources. So you need to be in control of your money, your budget, and your need for spending. This warns you to be careful and not to allow impulsiveness to break the bank just because you want to impress others. The tarot card for the last week of the month is the Two of Pentacles. The card shows a man juggling two pentacles. The pentacles are on different planes, suggesting two different possibilities are being weighed. Which will be the best? Which will bring the most success? The pentacles themselves are supported by the infinity symbol, suggesting life is an ongoing flow of choices. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month ends with mental Mercury joining expansive Jupiter in Aries and your 12th house. Now, this brings a new sense of introspective thinking and meditation to your life. You want to expand your ability to understand what deeply motivates you and what you believe in. You'll also be willing to see how you may have limited yourself and how you can overcome your fears. Now, Venus will conjunct unstable Uranus in your first house of expression. So put your best foot forward and influence new friends, but be nice. Now, there is a trine between Saturn and Mars from your 11th to second house. And it suggests you might stumble upon a new investment opportunity through friends or business associates. So you might want to take advantage of that. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.